The way that we are now, I think we've been together for about two and a half years. Um, I kind of think of that point of uh, Heliotropes getting together as like the start of the band. Although Amber and I, um, Amber and I actually started playing music together in like two, like beginning of 2009. Um, but it was just her and I. We were we were trying to play some Brian Eno songs, um, more analog. Uh, but then it was too hard, and we started a rock band. Amber plays what in uh, Heliotropes? Uh, she sings and uh, plays uh, plays percussion. Um, on the record, we all do all sorts of things, but yeah, live, she, she sings with me and plays tambourine a lot of times. It's funny you say you tried to go for like that Brian Eno ambient sound, and you would think it'd be easy, like just scotch taping a, a key down on the keyboard or something, but right. I guess not, huh? No, it was really, it was really, um, when we actually started deconstructing songs, like uh, one of my favorite Brian Eno songs is uh, The Big Ship, and we were trying to play it, and it was just like, this is like, this is too hard. like. <laughs> Just, um, it's just rock. It's not even, uh, sometimes it's not predictable, you know? Like, it, it doesn't have that sort of pop song structure to it that, like, would make you remember what to play. Right. So, uh, you and Amber started playing, were you guys in, in college when you started playing together, or? No, um, we actually met uh, here in New York, and we had just started, like, nine to five jobs here. We were both, like, pretty fresh out of college, but we were not in college. Um, I was working at DC Comics, and she was working at uh, Pratt, um, I think, in their development department. Were you, uh, were you drawing comic books at DC Comics? No, I was actually, um, I was an editor at first, just like plain print editing, and then I kind of moved into working in their online department. Wow. How much, uh, how much comic influence is there in uh, Heliotropes? Is it gonna be, is the new album gonna have like a, a Jack Kirby homage on the, on the cover, or? Um, we actually have a lot of band artwork that's been done by comic book artists. Um, Steve Manali drew our t-shirt, uh, which we actually just got. He, I think he like worked on a run of uh, Scott Pilgrim, like among other things. Um, and uh, Becky Cloonan, who um, is the first woman to draw Batman, uh, drew some of our flyers. Wow. Um, as far as musically, um, I, we do have a song that is kind of about Sandman. 